Hello, welcome. My name is Manuel from Qatar Studios. Today, I'm going to teach you how to add more device breakpoints in Elementor Page Builder. But before we get into that, I want to show you something very quickly. So you see this uh, Temps and Condition page. When you come into the page, you see all Temps from this tab. You scroll down, you see all of the Temps. And then we get to the Theme and Approval, which is the second one here, number one. And number three is the Products and Services. So I think this is a mistake. This should be number three, so I'll edit that after now. The number four, product and ordering that should be number four okay number five and so on and so forth okay so why this is very easy is uh it makes it easy for clients to go to whatever particular topic they want to read or whatever heading they want to read specifically instead of scrambling through the whole paper which is usually very long or longer than this so you can actually classify them or organize them in folders or in tabs like this and make it easier for your clients to use you can do it this way you can also put it at the top side i think the other one is for my other clients all of all of which are at the top side okay on mobile you see how it's going to respond you're going to make it to be scrollable you see it will be scrollable yeah, people can scroll to the right then they can still click options and get to different uh uh, properties of topic they want to uh, uh, read okay so this is how to make your terms and condition make it more light to the readers and make it more profound and direct people can go and read exactly what they want to read and you know get out without you know go going through the rest of the content as this okay that's number one number two if you want to hide the content for instance you are building a header possibly in our next tutorial on header building i'm going to teach you that very quickly on building header you may want to hide an element on mobile so you can actually uh design some kind of area uh very well now let me show you what i mean by that some people find issues like this let me unhide this okay find issues like this for for instance if this particular content was aligned horizontally you see this is now causing a problem because it's not it's not giving us opportunity to know the full width where we are designing this what we are designing this as so what you need to do in this case is select this element and hide it so with so doing you now know the width of this when this element will be on hidden by the way remember that this element is hidden in advance scroll down responsiveness and it's hidden for the desktop laptop and tablet breakpoint and by the way this is where you hide elements if you don't want this element to show on other breakpoints you hide it here but if you hide the element over here this one if you hide it here you are temporarily hiding the element from your builder but it's not hiding from the front end so bear that in mind okay so that's actually how to hide elements so that you'll be able to do some edits after you're done with edits and say okay maybe for instance you may decide to remove only one of these elements because uh three of them won't work you remove one and see how it works in that particular area you get the point so that idea it makes it easier or possibly you select this element and reduce the width of the element for instance, we use the width to see to make this other one adjust to it. But if we add up this one, it will it may cause a problem if this width possibly is something like this. You see, it may cause this problem. Then we can now keep adjusting our elements here. We get to what we want. So selecting on this and hiding this, we make us see the full potential of the content we'll be building when this particular element will be hidden. And by the way, remember that this element is hidden on this breakpoint, it's not visible. It is not visible. It's only visible on mobile, as you can see here. It's mobile visible. But this one now is not visible on mobile. On mobile only, this one is not visible. When I will be showing you a little bit of conditioning like this, I will teach you what you need to know from me. I just wanted to show you for those who all already know what's up, or for those who already know what is going on, this is actually how to do the workaround. So that's out of the way. Let's get back to what we have for today. So to make the inter interface clean, not that we are removing this, we can select on this and hide it so we can have a cleaner interface while we do our responsiveness. So to add a more uh, more breakpoint to your device, remember if you add this more breakpoint, it's going to apply to all parts of your website. Okay. So what you're going to do is when you hover on this place, site settings, and by the way, before you have this option, let me show you how to enable it. So go into your dashboard, you get into Elementor over here okay then scroll until you get to settings then click on features so here so if it is not enabled you won't be able to find that option okay additional custom breakpoints let me zoom closely this one so all you need to do is click option and activate it usually it might be on default it may work it may not work depending on the condition or depending on the template you are using okay when you click on this and click on activate and then you scroll down then you hit on save 
Okay, so when you're done with that, you can now come back here and you'll see the option available for you. So to see the option, click on site settings at the top left corner of your builder. Click on this, just wait a little while. Then when you get to this part, you need to click on layouts, this one layouts so when you click on layouts scroll down till you get to this point i'm going to teach you everything you need to know about this this is a little bit complex area but i'm going to teach you everything you need to know from there before you start making your design so click on breakpoints and from this breakpoint area this is where we can add all our breakpoints for instance we have added laptop already we close that down we don't want the laptop but it won't disappear from here because we need to reload this page save and reload before we see it appear here. so we have removed the laptop it's no more available in our breakpoint uh environment so to add that back click on this space and then we add laptop we can add more let's add a let's add tablet landscape i'm going to teach you what this actually means then we add mobile landscape we don't want to add uh we don't want to add widescreen widescreen let me show you what that looks like when we add widescreen we save our work and then we reload and then we click on the x button when you reload you click on the x button to get back to your uh, page fine as you can see we have more breakpoints at the top corner let's select on this and hide it again we select on the first one you see we are now editing from a wider screen a very wider screen now we select on this we are editing with the normal uh, uh 4k display resolution this is ultra wide screen and this 4k di display resolution this is the laptop the olden days laptop you know the one that is usually in square area and then we have the tablet landscape tablet landscape means when you are browsing through the tablet you rotate the tablet this is how it's going to look so possibly you may need to adjust the content a little more like as you can see i didn't edit with tablet so i may need to adjust tablet landscape i need to adjust everything to match that particular breakpoint okay then we have tablet which i already edited to make more sense there then we have mobile landscape which i didn't edit to be like that when you get to tablet landscape and mobile landscape i will advise you to do this you need to you need to collapse this particular area to feel like the shape of the tablet landscape before you start editing why this is important is in some in some sections you may make them 100 vh and when this is like this you will notice the problem until you cluster them to be the main size and you notice the problem you are going to have in the vh you added so you can remove it and you know continue with your work the same applies to the mobile landscape when you select on the mobile landscape you need to still do it to uh to the to the lowest it's like collapse it to the lowest so that you can see what you are editing and see the problems you may be facing from that particular end so with that in place you see everything works fine and the mobile vertical everything works very fine from here and we are good to go okay so this simply is how to add multiple more breakpoints if you want to remove them you get back there again you do the same thing then you can save your work so if you have any question, drop in the comment section. And if you have not watched the video on responsiveness, head over to the YouTube channel and search. I think that should be the last video before this one. You're going to see the one hour video. This is an in-depth design makeup for responsiveness. Everything you need to know about responsive design, I treated that in this particular uh, tutorial. This works for every builder you want to use, whether Elementor, Oxygen Builder, Bricks Builder, Webflow, whatever builder you're using, this particular tutorial will guide you to making a very responsive design. And once again, my name is Manuel from Kata Studios. Remember to drink enough water, hug your loved ones, and enjoy the rest of your day.